So you want to know what it was like to be at IFFR 2023? Let's talk about it. So this year I was so, so fortunately lucky to be selected as part of IFFR's Media Outreach and Inclusion Scheme. So I got this beautiful little card and I figured I'd come on here to talk to you guys a bit about what my experience has been like in the program and a wonderful memory uh, that I developed with my amazing mother. So without further ado, let's get into it. So first of all, what is the Media Outreach IFFR scheme? Quite simply, um, they invite people that are from marginalized communities to come and experience the festival and get access to all events that normal press would get access to. So I was lucky enough to get access to any movie I wanted to see and be able to submit to interview a uh, few people that I might be interested in, as well as access to industry events, networking drinks, and a really, really strong community of a press team that was ready to help me uh, explore the festival to its fullest potential. They were able to point me to movies that I would love, able to connect me with a powerful community of creators where I could be like, hey, I want to talk to this person or that person, and then they would make it happen. And all I can say is the people in that team, Catherine, Lily, uh, were really, really, really fabulous. So it was a powerful experience, and I really could not imagine having not done it. Or how did I get into it? Well, quite simply, IFFR has a very, very active Instagram where they post about every single program they got. So uh, I was just scrolling on Instagram one day and I saw this post about like this media outreach scheme and how we want to bring in more marginalized voices. And then I went to the website and apparently uh, all you have to do is submit content you've done before and then write up like a motivation letter why you want to join this program. So I talked about my love for film which I think uh, most of you are aware that I studied media. That was my background. And I've done quite a few media analysis videos about shows like Emily in Paris and Inventing Anna. So I sent them those and I talked about how much I really enjoy watching different kinds of films and how film helped me feel at home in Rotterdam when I first moved here. Uh, and it just apparently it hit a vein because a few weeks later I hear back and it's like, hey, we accepted you and apparently uh, a friend of mine that I had made such an impression on with my content was like, I know the right person and they work in there. And it was like, hey, there you go. So if you ever think you shouldn't network, this is your sign to network and meet people and make friends because you never know who might advocate for you. My favorite part of the festival overall was really the opportunity to connect with those I love over new and exciting films. One of my favorites in this festival has been the Blue Kaftan, which was written and directed by Mariam Tuzani, a beautiful Moroccan director who just has such a craft and such an artistry. So uh, not to spoil anything, but to give you a bit about the Blue Kaftan, it's a story about love in its many forms, love between a husband and his wife, and then eventually the husband and another person he ends up falling in love with. And it's really, really strong about social stigma in the Arab world about certain activities and um, how love and acceptance can grow in many ways. The acting was phenomenal, the direction was powerful, the concept was beautiful of comparing this taboo issue in society to the making of a kaftan, which for those of you who don't know is a traditional sort of Moroccan dress and now with industrialization and like modern machinery the traditional act of making a kaftan by hand which was carried on by what's known as a ma'allim like a like an artisan is slowly dying out so the same way it is dying out uh, there was a commentary in the movie at least in my opinion about like identity and sort of concealing yourself for protection and it was very well uh, sort of balanced out by that idea of the craft that is dying but also the beauty of the complexity of the blue kaftan that was sort of a design motif throughout the entire movie and was sort of central to the plot. And how as the complexity of that grew, we began to understand more and more about our beautiful characters, our central characters, uh, 
and how the love between them has evolved or changed or become more painful or become more difficult. As you see the complexity of the garment, you also see the complexity between our three main characters and how they uncover and resolve the issues between them. But to find out more, you'll have to go see it yourself. I hope and pray that it will premiere here in the Netherlands or eventually it should hopefully get picked up by some kind of streaming service and you can stream it online. But I went to see it with my mother and it, it hit such an emotional note and I think that's because of Mariam's skill set of really capturing in raw emotion very well. You felt the depth of the story and I was fortunate enough to attend the Q&A by her. Then she talked about how much she loved these characters and still in a way feels them within her. And it's very powerful to watch such an intimate storyteller tell you about something that's really, really meaningful to her. And then see a powerful product with amazing, amazing talent brought to the screen. Uh, just moved me beyond words. It made me, both me and my mom cry. And we had not seen a film with each other in a very, very long time. And it brought us closer together. So I can only thank IFFR for that. And yeah, it was just a beautiful experience and it, it just changed my life to be here. You know, you become part of this community. You become a true Rotterdamer when you commit to doing something in IFFR. But also, as someone who studied media and the creative industries in particular, you don't really think you'll manage to get a job or do something within the creative industry. And IFFR is a reminder that the creative industry is still there. And I was so fortunate to be selected to have these doors open for me and meet all kinds of amazing people and really connect with a side of myself that I thought had died and was really, really sad about. So yeah, that was just an amazing experience overall. I cannot express that enough. And if you happen to be part of some marginalized group and are watching this uh, or even haven't been to the IFR yet, I'd really, really recommend it. Especially maybe check out the Limelight uh, selection first, which is like their selection of audience favorites and the most popular ones. That should be a good starting point for you. Or if you have some kind of intersection of diversity, I encourage you to apply for the scheme. Hopefully, hopefully it's back next year. We were sort of a pilot program, but I encourage you to really apply and I'll leave the information down below for you to explore. So, you want to find out more? Uh, I'll link a few of my older videos. Maybe check out my Emily in Paris video or my Inventing Anna video if you like popular culture. I'll see you there.